Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my interview show, Part 3. Enjoy the show. Hey, everyone. With me now is your tune. Wait a minute. Your tune? That sounds like something they should call me. Anyway, your tune. When your husband, Justin, gives you like about 15 bucks for your favorite craft store to go shopping, what do you usually say to him after he hands you the dough? Your tune. Is there anything special you'd like to say to your two children, Brittany and Nicholas, tonight? Now that was very sweet. Hey, now we have BRZ352 on my show. Welcome, BRZ. Well, BRZ, I guess your name's Brenda, I believe. So I hope you don't mind, I'll call you Brenda. Um, Brenda, I hear that you're not satisfied if you only have a little bit of crafting supplies in your home. Is that true? Oh, I get it. You're one of them types. You want every single new craft item that comes out. Okay, BRZ. How are you when it comes to, like, entertaining and things like that instead of scrapbooking? Oh, well. That's the same thing they say about me, too. BRZ. What do you say when one of your cricket mats is unsticky and you can't use it anymore? Yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. Well, thank you, BRZ352, for being on my show today. It was great having you here. Hey, Bridget L. Welcome to the show today. I hope you're doing fine. Okay, your first question is, what did you do before coming on my show today? All right, well, we know you're clean, so that's good. Okay, Bridget L. I heard recently that your husband, Robert, wants to take you all over the world to do some crafting to a bunch of swarms. Where is he going to take you to? Wow, that'll be a lot of crafting and a lot of fun. Enjoy the trip. Trips, I should say. Where did you know? I heard this year on Mother's Day, your four sons, Christopher, Dominic, Brandon, and Austin, gave you a really nice Mother's Day. What would you like to say to them today? Now that was really sweet. Thank you, boys. Taking good care of your mom on Mother's Day. Hey, girly girl. Welcome to the show today. You look really wonderful. Could you tell us, girly girl, what happened when your kids and hubby put a band on your crafting? <laughs> Wow, that's a shame. Well, hopefully soon your band will be lifted. Girly girl, is there anything you'd like to say to our viewing audience 
for people who sometimes have problems crafting and it's not a good craft day? Don't worry. <laughs> be happy. Look at me, I'm happy. That is some good advice, girly girl. Girly girl, I heard you asked your husband for some scrap money because you love him so much. Oh, well, I don't know. I figured it'd get you more money. Hey, now on our show we have Jenny A. Welcome, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. I hear that you make your husband of 12 years pay for all your crafting supplies. Why is that? Well, then, if that's the way it should be, I guess I got to tell my husband that, too. Jenny A., I heard Saturday that your husband kept asking you to go out with him, but you kept telling him no because you were busy crafting all day. Well, then, 10 o'clock comes around, and he asked you again, 10 o'clock at night, that is, and what did you say to your husband at that point about going out with him? Well, yeah, Jenny, I guess you're right. As you're crafting all day, 10 p.m. is a little late to going out. Jenny A., what do you say to your daughter, Emma Jean, and your son, Adam, when it's time for them to get to bed. All right, that makes sense. Well, thank you so much for coming on my show today, Jenny A. By the way, you look wonderful in that jumper or overall, whatever you want to call that. You're pretty and pink. Okay, with me now is Chris Tice. And Chris, I heard that you left your phone number in the dressing room for me to call you. Are you sure it's okay for me, a crazy lady, to call you? Oh, okay, no problem. I love to talk. I'll call you. Okay, Chris, could you tell us a little bit about your husband, please? Oh, that was very sweet of you, Chris. I'm sure he'll buy you a million craft things now for saying that on my show. Okay, your last and final question, Chris is I heard that your son and daughter bought you a whole bunch of craft supplies. What do you have to say about that? Yes, that's true. Craft things are made of sweet dreams. Well, thanks, Chris, for coming on my show. I appreciate that, spending your time with me. And everybody, thank you for coming today. You're a tune. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself today? Wow, only 17. You look good for your age. 17 and two children and a husband. Pretty darn good. Well, thanks, your tune, for coming out today and taking time away from your shopping and crafting. Appreciate that.